Hi, you guys. So I was just doing a quick reading on Sean Combs and how things were going to go for him. And I just got this hit that he might try and say that he's going to go to rehab or something along these lines. Um, he might be advised to do it. And I, it just came to me with the imagery of the cards. I could be wrong. I could be wrong. But I just thought that I would put the uh, impressions out that I was picking up because I, I may not be right. These are just cards. This is speculation. This is not by any means uh, necessarily fact. <clears throat> These are just cards for entertainment purposes only. But what I'm getting here is a, a sense of disconnect to the past, um, maybe even with one's children, but there's this a blunted sense of concern or emotion. One is more kind of numb, indifferent even perhaps, not pleased, you know, not enough. So there's just kind of an indifference. It's not how you want things necessarily, but there's Eh, a meh attitude. And I believe it's to do with things he's done in the past, what's gone on in the past, possibly, like I was saying, with his, with his kids. He's just not going to be as vibrant as he was definitely for sure there's a dim to his shine with that four of cups and he gets judgment and the card of justice where you know if he's done anything criminally he's going to be held to account for real and this is this is big energy so something connected with pass um possibly minors as well um with that six of cups card and being held to some sort of an account legally it changes things in his life a really significant way so that means possible like i was thinking is he going to ever go to prison um and I'm not sure, but I think there is some part legally here where he's overwhelmed and needs to pull back and rest or get healed for a, a, a period of time. And this is where I think maybe rehab might come in. And it deals with the Seven of Cups, I think for me, which is substance or an altered state of mind. And getting it back under some form of control. So I think while he's undergoing these legal matters, he may pull himself into maneuver from a state of like, well, I'm being, uh, I'm undergoing care for um, maybe certain medications. Because this is getting working, I feel like, on dealing with substance with strength and the seven of cups trying to get your handle you know a hand over an addiction issue something that alters your consciousness or how you perceive things and this is being overwhelmed and exhausted with the ten of wands and the Four of Swords is like retreating and healing and uh, pulling back and, and getting your energy back up. But it's definitely pulling back in a retreated fa you know, fashion that um, has a more lengthy time recovery, so to speak. So there could be something where he exhausts himself with the, the legal legalities that he's been facing 
and I think at least get care for some substance kind of issue. That's what I wanted to record coming up. Now, just let's see what else comes out. Yeah, there's the Ace of Cups. And this can be, to me, strikes me as any kind of intoxicants that drop your inhibitions. Um, a lot of them do. But especially like alcohol and maybe pills here with this energy here. Especially when I get cards, they kind of, they amplify each other with like the uh, seven of cups right back here you know and just the energy in general feels like also maybe sex uh, addiction in line with substance that wouldn't surprise me at all if he tries to not only does he probably really need it um but I feel like he's going to also use the shield of being like um, exhausted by what he's dealing with. And it's not exactly an exaggeration, but that's what I think may pan out. Um, other people working with other people to defend himself with the six, I'm sorry, with the seven of wands. There's also a, you know, this could also be the group of people coming for him that are gaining power, gain, gaining strength. Uh, this is a small group. It could also be people within his own camp that he's trying to um, deal with. But because of the other cards, I think we're dealing with the past issues where substance was concerned, and that might end up motivating him to say that he's getting help and actually do go and, and, and do it because I don't think he might be in the position to obtain those things as easily when eyes were not on him. Uh, I know that it was said that Cassie was made to get pain tablets for him in her name after he had exhausted one doctor's uh, prescription. So this behavior is familiar to him. And he might have to legit go and do that so he can try and function and deal with the people I think that are coming after him. And I'm sure he'll have his own group of lawyers or whomever that are going to try and help him defend himself. This is very fast moving kind of communication with the page of swords. It's also surveillance. Oof. Surveillance, videotapes, video um, with phone, text, information that's electronic, quick moving. One of the fastest moving nights in the deck. The knight of swords and the page of swords coming together. It makes me also feel like devices, um, vices on devices, I suppose, potentially. Something seized. This is something that is valued, something that is controlled. Huh. The magician directed. Ugh. I'm just thinking about the things that were in class and in, in Cassie's allegations. Um, it was claimed that he would direct her to be intimate with other people. And he really owns the control aspect. I feel like this is him controlling and directing and telling other people what to do to manifest what he has in mind. And it just makes me feel like I need to go take a, you know, shower. Um, in comes the Hierophant. This is tradition. This is old school. This is rules and rituals and ethics, or it should be. And it might be with the Queen of Swords. Somebody holding him up to the rules of society. 
with the Queen of Swords. There's a lot of fame. So there's, this is a, you know, people are paying attention to this. It is very visible, high profile. And there may be a high profile person, religious nature. I know that there's a T.D. Jakes that's well known that liked to party with him, loved his after parties. In, in, yes, indeed. He was, he was taking advantage of the, I think, of the flesh, being at parties at the very least. But like in those kind of parties, I don't want no, I, people that, that aren't even that religious, that are just spiritual like myself would never want to be at one of those parties. And people that aren't religious or spiritual particularly just have the moral compass that they would be like, nah, I'm good. <clears throat> the Knight of Wands. This is the enthusiasm, the pleasure seeking. This is, I think, also the people have an appetite for the information, but also exposure of behaviors that have been going on, coming out. People are able to see the electronic video clips or texts and whatnot. Feels like that, being exposed. An offer or offers. Ooh, and there's a sneaky angle, things that are offered that one can take and get away with it. There's, there's a super sly angle with this card. And this card is some kind of an offer typically, but when you get it paired with a card like this, the offer itself may be also under question. It might be something of a questionable nature. And being that there's a substance here being represented, there's, it just feels like illicit activity possibly with people that are too young and um, being also given stuff that isn't legal. Uh, you know, these aren't green smoothies, you guys. And it's, it's not the Cosby uh, stuff, but it's similar. Okay. And there's a king of swords. There's some kind of planning here. Now, I don't know this is if this is on behalf of the lawyer looking over and reviewing these tapes or information that I feel like is going to be. I think it's stuff that has been confiscated from his home. I think these old the first two cards are about the past. Um... It makes me feel like it's footage. It, it could be tapes, it, you know, that will get shown that have a legal consequence to them. And I feel like somebody's going to have to review that and decide uh, what pursuit legally to go by. And it's criminal. It's, it's sneaky. There's substance involved. There's clearly some kind of mm, improper, impropriety going on. There's some hiddenness to it with the, the high priestess. That's something that's been kept quiet there in plain sight. Maybe within the home or the household with the Queen of Pentacles energy. Or a woman may have had this secretly. It could be somebody that he's messed with, has kept something. It's, it's like, to me, um, been secreted, though. Some element. Okay, we have the Two of Cups of I Feel Like a Union. getting together maybe or a friend uh, shown a male energy adult uh, with the king of wands very fiery 
uh, very intense. They run very hot, very cold, but mostly hot, you know, if no matter what. Hot when they're angry, I don't think you're going to see this person retract and be cold. I think this person would just stay in the zone of fire of how they respond to you. And where the cups are concerned, it feels like it's very energized. It feels like there's an attraction. It feels like there's some kind of activity that's intimate, shall we say. Now we get the Eight of Swords. This is someone feeling stuck or trapped. And the Ten of Cups, that can be as a result of too much of something, to be, to be honest. Maybe too much substance with the Ten of Cups next to this card of the Eight of Swords, where it's impairing their ability to feel like they can move for themselves independently. Now, maybe this is someone that's not feeling like they have the physical mobility that they should to, to move. It Because this feels almost distorted with the Ten of Cups. They definitely might feel like family could be, uh, and family happiness or general well-being could be ruined. There might be some worry over that. I'm not sure, just to kick it around. Um, but there's walking away, wanting to walk away, wanting to disappear. And there's taking a risk here with the fool, the new start. Um, a new cycle. Could it be that he's going to want to run away from having to face any consequences, any confinement or constriction or restriction in his life? Hmm. Anyway, you can give me your thoughts out there. I, there's Sean. He's a Scorpio. Hermit. I think he's going to try to be more secluded. And he's going to be called to do soul searching, which is what he's meant to do. And he's going to have to do it. But the hermit can also mean a certain kind of attention that uh, older, typically adult men give children. Also, so... And if he's already shown back here to maybe have a connection where minors are concerned and then legal aspects coming up, it may not be too far to say that he could get the status legally as a certain kind of a offense. Hmm. You know, he I think is going to try and fight some sort of further constriction or restriction upon himself, no matter what the case is. I see him resisting it, but he's not able to resist it completely. It's starting to re really um, wear him down with that nine of wands. I think mentally and physically he's exhausted by it. And maybe the will is about the only thing that he wants to win. But there's exposure with the sun and the three of cups. Now, that may not be exactly happy for him if it's to do with parties and this kind of thing. There is the world. And, uh, yeah, this is not good. And the, uh, not for him anyway, and the ten of wands. This is wanting to end a fight, a struggle, 
this could be a spotlight going on parties and that get exposed and end. Some dispute is ended, perhaps, finally here. Ooh, the tower and death. Um, well, that's just a, a, a very quick end. A very big reset button is struck. And his abundance. Ugh is greatly reduced. In fact, I think he's going to have to take stock of what he has left. There also might be other things he's looking at facing yet. Yes. And the Wheel of Fortune. Could be looking, you know, is this Kim Porter? There's the mother figure here, the wife, the mother. Maybe her death. You know, I, I just think this man has got a lot ahead of him. Um, and trying to move on out of trouble. Trying to move forward. This also looks like moving people around that might be too young. I think that he's just, there's a pit, a pit of things he's going to be, they're going to keep pulling up. Ugh. Very turbulent waters for him. One thing, especially with, I feel like, anything to do with people that are too young. All right, I'm going to leave it there. This is only supposed to be short. But I think this man's life is going to be revealed. Whew. Okay, I'll talk to you guys soon. If you appreciate this kind of content, please give a thumbs up. And uh, or leave a comment just to boost my algorithm. Thank you so much. And make sure you're subscribed. Thanks. Bye.